Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I hope you're doing well, having a fabulous day. Hey, I'm excited to share today's daily encouragement from the Bible. I hope you are doing well and having a great start to your day. Hey, today I was reading in Mark chapter 9 and looking at how the disciples started fighting with each other. Uh, how often is it is it that when, when we're around close family or friends, we start fighting over each other? And one of the first things we fight over is is who's the best. We're competing with one another. Well, while competition has some healthy sense of, of fostering an environment where we can grow and, and encourage each other to grow, there's also a negative side of that. Uh, Pastor Darren, uh, lead pastor at, at our church here at First Baptist Tulsa, has said frequently, comparison is a thief of joy. When we compare ourselves to another and start to say, man, how, how do we compare based off of other people and how are we doing in that sense and how can we, how can we put ourselves in a position to be better? Um, it never ends well. Well, Jesus knew this was coming and so he had an intentional conversation with his disciples in Mark 9 when he said, whoever wants to become the greatest must become the least and must become the servant of all. Our pathway to leadership, our pathway to success, it actually doesn't begin by fighting to, to climb the ladder and beating other people down to get there. Our pathway to, to spiritual maturity, our pathway to leadership in God's kingdom and God's order is by intentionally investing in the lives of others, by serving them. And so my encouragement today, wherever you're at, whatever's going on, don't, don't get sucked into the, the dog-eat-dog -dog world of, of fighting for positions of influence or, or being someone who wants to, to fight to get to the top, no matter what the cost. Be someone who's very intentional in serving others around you. As you do so, you may find yourself in a position where you can actually have the influence to speak into their lives. You may also find yourself in a place where you end up leading others because they respect you, because you care about them. You don't care about yourself. I really think that's what Jesus was getting at. The, the, the real way to get to influence is by intentionally investing in others, by serving them. So that's my encouragement and challenge for you today. Uh, I do want to end by praying for us, but first of all, if you don't know the hope that comes from walking with Jesus and you happen to be watching this, I want to encourage you, you can find incredible levels of hope and peace by simply saying yes to Jesus. It doesn't mean that everything will be, will be right, will be perfect in your life, but it does mean that you will have someone who will walk with you in, in and through all of the storms of life. If you don't know Jesus and you need to say yes to him today, I encourage you to do so by admitting you need God in your life. Because man, there are things that are proved in our life that we were designed to not walk through life alone. Um, two, we believe that Jesus was who he said he was. When, when Jesus said that he was the way, the truth, and the life, we believe that and we simply ask God to be the center of our lives, ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins. And we commit our lives to walking with him. I do wanna end by praying for us. Now, if you, haven't, if you need to do that, if you need to get right with Jesus, Send me a private message through Facebook. Reach out to me. I want to be an advocate for you and work with you and encourage you. Uh, God, today, I lift up to you each of my friends. I pray that your peace would cover them and guide them. Lord, today, help us to be people who embody this challenge to intentionally serve and invest in everyone around us. We don't want to be people who are fighting for positions of power or influence, but instead we want to be known as people who love everyone around us and who want to invest in them. Help us to be that kind of people. Lord, I pray for my friends who are fighting coronavirus. May you cover over them. May you encourage them, strengthen their immune systems. Lord, I pray that you would cover over um, my friend, a couple in, in Phoenix that's not doing well. May you cover over them and their marriage. Help them, Lord, to find healing and restoration in their marriage. I pray, Lord, for um, just the rest of us. May you guide our steps and guide our days. May you help us to embody this challenge. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, hey, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you back here again tomorrow for another round of daily encouragement from the Bible. Blessings.